Welcome to the Click Podcast. I'm Danny Watson, a mindset and manifestation expert and founder of The Click, a company that helps women overcome their fears and limiting beliefs to create a life and business that they love. Within this podcast, I will help you get clear on what you want, identify the blocks that are holding you back, transform your mindset and raise your vibration so that you can co-create magic with the universe. If you are looking to design a life that truly sets your soul on fire and manifests more success and abundance, then you are in the right place. Hello ladies, how are we all? I'm excited to be here. Um, At the time of recording this, I am very, very pregnant. (laughs) I am just approaching 38 weeks and um, yeah, I'm very pregnant, but I'm also feeling really, really inspired. I think it's because I have um, taken you know, the foot off, my foot off the pedal a little bit and have been relaxing a little bit more. I've been gradually easing away from um, things that I normally do within the business and really just preparing myself for the arrival of my son, who is due a week on, um, well, just over a week from now. Um, probably by the time, in fact, definitely by the time this podcast episode is released, I will have already had him <laughs> um, and I will already be a new mama. So um, yeah, so I'm just feeling really inspired at the moment to create content. Um, and I actually think a big part of this is just because I'm just feeling super relaxed. Um, you know, I've got all of the ducks in the ru- all of my ducks rather in a row in terms of the business side of things. Everything's just running really smoothly. Um, we've got some amazing women that are coming on board to support our students in the Click Academy to kind of fill in the gaps of where I would normally coach our students. Um, just everything's really organized. I, you know, I'm feeling really organized and prepared for the birth and Yeah, and I think when I'm in this really relaxed place, I often find creating content is just a lot easier. My ideas flow a lot easier and um, yeah, and I just just have these like sudden flashes of inspiration. And so I thought today I would create a podcast episode on things that I do to keep my vibe high Um, because yeah, I've been thinking a lot about this recently because I... Um, really for, for this year, for 2021, um, for me, it's going to be much more about enjoying the process and going with the flow. You know, I achieved some incredible things in 2020 and there was definitely times when I didn't allow myself to enjoy the process as much as probably what I could have done. And so for me, it's really about, yeah, kind of finding more space for things that really keep my vibration high and um, just, yeah, making more room for that. So I thought I'd share with you some things that I do and what I have done. And some of these things actually are a little bit, uh, not unusual, but just not sort of the typical things that people talk about when it comes to law of attraction and mindset. Um, So yeah, okay, well, let me just get started then (laughs) and let's get stuck into it. So I couldn't really talk about keeping my vibe high without talking about having in place a great daily morning routine, starting your day in a way that's going to leave you feeling empowered, in a way that you're already focusing on how you feel, your vibration, and doing things that really make you feel good. So I've created another podcast episode previously on the morning routine that helps set me up for success. Um, So yeah, I would strongly recommend you check that episode out if you haven't done so yet. But I think, yeah, how how our energy is for the majority of the day all determines, it all depends rather on how our energy starts at the beginning of the day. And if you create some space for yourself first thing in the morning, for yourself, for your mindset, for your own self-care, um, you know, it could be things like meditating, journaling, affirmations, maybe exercise that is naturally going to raise your vibration first thing. And that energy is then much more likely to stay with you for the rest of the day. So definitely check out that episode if you haven't done so yet. 
But let's dive into some other things that I like to do to keep myself in that positive vibration. I'd say the first thing um, that I want to talk about is just the space in which I live. And this has become more and more important, actually, since whatever has happened over the past year and the craziness that's gone on. And we've had to be spending more time at home. I've had to become far more mindful of what's going on within my home and the space in which I'm spending my time and making sure that that space makes me feel high vibe. Now, (laughs) just to give this a little bit of context, when um, when we first went into lockdown in 2020, um, we were in our home that we purchased the year before in 2019. And the plan was to pretty much start renovating it straight away. Obviously, Corona hit and we didn't get that opportunity to start when we wanted to. And so all of our renovations got put on hold. And it meant that we were, don't get me wrong, our home, you know, was still a lovely, lovely home, but there was so much about it that I wanted to change. Okay. And there was so much about the space um, of the house that just for me did not leave me feeling high vibe. (laughs) Um, You know, it was really like little things like the carpet was just filthy and just so much of it just needed ripping out and starting again. And obviously that if you're, you know, on lockdown as we were, and you're spending a lot of time in a space that is not high vibe, that's obviously going to affect your vibration. Now, fortunately, we had a really beautiful um, weather when lockdown initially happened in the UK. It was, um, you know, we were in spring, but it was this really hot, warm weather. And it meant that I could spend a lot of my time outdoors. And this is probably one of those things that anybody can have access to, um, being able to spend time outside, out in nature. And it is a great way to raise your vibration. So if, let's say, for example, you are, your living environment at the moment is not how you want it to be and you feel that it affects your vibe. So maybe you are at home and you're thinking, oh God, you know, the space that you're in, it doesn't feel high vibe to you. Take yourself outdoors. Now, obviously, you know, being on lockdown again in the UK at the moment, that does become a bit more challenging. Fortunately, we are able to go out on walks and things. And I think just being in nature, Um, especially if you are out in nature and you haven't got your phone with you, you don't take any distractions with you and you can just be with yourself, with your own sort of thoughts and just be really, really mindful of just being out in nature. It can be such a wonderful way to raise your vibration. So I spent the majority of spring last year out in my garden um, probably most of spring and the summer, actually. Um, and we were just so fortunate to have this amazing weather. And it was just this great boost to my vibration. And just being outdoors just made me feel really, really good. Now, in terms of your environment, obviously, you know, at the moment, as I said, we, we may be a little bit restricted, or at least we are in the UK in, in terms of where we can go and what we can do. But there are little things that you could do to change the environment that you're in that can also really make a difference. Now, back when I first started my business, my partner and I, we were living in a flat with a lot of housemates. (laughs) We were in a two bedroom flat. We couldn't afford to rent out the flat for ourselves. Um, We ended up having to rent out the bedrooms and we lived in the living room. So we didn't have a proper bed even. We didn't even have wardrobes, so all of our stuff was just shoved in piles in the corner of the room. It certainly wasn't this high vibe space, and it definitely wasn't an environment that made me feel abundant or it made me feel high vibe. However, there was not much that I could do at that point to change that. You know, that's where I lived, that's what my circumstances were. And So what I did, I obviously going out in nature and being out outside as much as possible is great. But there was some other things that I did, which I wanted to share with you. And the first thing was just making the most of what you've got. So if your current environment is not the most high vibe environment in the world, what can you do? What small, subtle changes can you do to change that? 
So for example, I was, I, at one point I was just working from my bed. I would basically have my laptop on a cushion and I would work from my bed because I didn't really have any other space. And the room was very small, but what I got, I, I ended up getting a very sort of small little desk that I popped by the window. And even though it was a really tiny space, I thought, I'm just going to make the most of what I've got here. And I made this desk into sort of my safe, spiritual, sacred haven. <laughs> um, and it was, as I said, it was really small, but, you know, I'd have a scented candle on there. I'd have my crystals on there. I'd have this like really small, tiny vase where I'd have, um, you know, a few fresh flowers there wasn't enough space, like a whole bunch of flowers, but, you know, I would make the most of what I had. And and that's something that we can all do. So it might be that you create a a small space, maybe it's a space where you can go to meditate, or maybe it's a space where you work from, that just helps you to feel a bit more high vibe. Okay. Now, again, this is something that's perhaps not accessible to people right now, given that in the UK, we're in lockdown, um, depending on where the, in the world you are right now. But um, I would also, one of the things I'd also do is I would take myself to other places that would make me feel high vibe. So again, at the time I was building my business and I wanted to do this in a really sort of beautiful, high vibe environment that would make me feel good. And where I lived just it wasn't that. <laughs> and as I said, I had lots of other flatmates as well that were pretty noisy. So trying to get anything done when we were all in the flat together was pretty much impossible. So what I would do is I would take myself to these amazing hotels in London and I would just go and I would perhaps order a coffee. Sometimes I'd just order, you know, a glass of tap water. And the great thing about hotels is that you can pretty much just walk into them and you know, they'll often have these beautiful lobbies, um, especially some of the really big hotels in London, these like beautiful lobbies, you know, they'll have beautiful areas to have like a coffee or a drink. And, you know, at the time, I certainly wasn't in a financial position to, you know, have a meal at these hotels, let alone actually stay there. But what I could do is just by taking myself there for the day and working there for the day, it put me in this much um, higher vibe energy than if I was to say, you know, be sat at home working from my bed with my laptop on my knee. So again, perhaps not something we can do right now if you you are in lockdown, but something to think about. Could I take myself to a different location that feels high vibe? It doesn't need to cost the the earth, you know? I would literally make a coffee last the whole day and I would work from these hotels and yeah, nobody would bother me. Um, So let's move on then to some of the things, I guess, some of the more practical things that you perhaps do have access to right now. Um, things that you can bring into your environment. So I've spoken about how I kind of created this little space for myself, you know, with a candle, with crystals, with flowers. Bringing these little touches into your home can honestly, it can make the world of difference. And um, crystals are obviously something that can really change the energy of a space as well. So having crystals around that, um, you know, they may have a significant meaning for you or it may be that you just like the look of those crystals, like having them in the space, spaces in which you live. But just making sure as well that the environment in which you live is as clutter-free as possible. Okay, now one of my kind of favorite reads over the past year was the life-changing magic of tidying up. I want to make sure I've got that title right, but it's the Marie Kondo book anyway. So Marie Kondo, if you've not heard of her, she's got a series on Netflix as well, but she is basically a decluttering expert and she goes into people's homes and she clears out all of their junk and just creates, um, you know, this clutter fleet free environment. And clutter, Clutter, when we actually hold on to things that don't serve us or things that we do not love, what we're actually doing is we're, we're holding on to things that are just excessive negative energy, okay? So if you look at something and you're like, 
you know, I don't love this item and I don't have any use for it and it's just something in my home that's kind of cluttering up my space, that is, you know, creating negative energy within the space of your home. And so a part of raising your vibration is letting go of the things that do not serve you. Letting go of the things that don't actually make you feel amazing. And one of the things that Marie Kondo gets her clients to do is to ask themselves honestly, like, does this bring me joy? Does this spark joy in my life? Like, do I love this possession? And if not, that is just taking up space in your home and your life where something else could be taking up that space, something that does give you joy, that does give you a lot of pleasure. So the idea is, is that by decluttering, we are just shedding ourselves of the things that just don't light us up. And in doing so, we allow ourselves to actually raise our vibration. Now, I think it goes without saying, when you are in a clean and tidy and clutter-free home, you automatically feel lighter. I don't know if you've ever experienced this before, but when you've had like a really good sort out or a tidy up, just think about how that makes you feel afterwards. Just think about the physical feeling in your body and the emotions that you feel, that is your vibration rising, okay? So, you know, just the simple act of just going through and sorting things out and just, you know, getting rid of stuff that you don't use or you don't even like anymore and feeling how much lighter that that makes you feel. Um, and again, that is your vibration rising. So I always try and have like a good clear out every month or two months. I will try and make sure my home is as tidy and as neat as possible and everything's really, really organized. I know in the times when my house is chaos, and obviously it does happen, you know, I've got a toddler <laughs> um, who loves to just pull everything out everywhere. You know, I, I know when my house is chaos, how much that can affect me and how much it affects how I'm feeling and my vibration. So I do really make a conscious effort to just keep everything really neat, organized and tidy. Now, speaking of um, the home, and I know I'm focusing a lot on like our surroundings here, but the reason why I'm doing so is, again, at the time of recording this, in the UK, we're currently on a national lockdown. So nobody can really leave home. That is our message. Stay at home. And so, um, yeah, so (laughs) it's kind of why everything's sort of centered around the home at the moment. But um, on another note, and this is a little bit of an unusual one, and um, I thought it would be would be worth a mention, and it's something that I've become a lot more mindful of over the past, I'd say, year, and that is the kinds of products that you are using in your home. And what I'm talking about is inviting toxins into your home and what that actually can do for your vibration. So I'm not going to go into the ins and outs and the science behind toxins. But essentially, if you can start living a more toxin-free life in that the products that you're using are as natural and as eco-friendly as possible and they haven't been laced with all of these chemicals, I promise you, you will feel the effects on your vibration on your mood, on your energy. You will perhaps even notice a difference in things like your skin. Um, I have definitely seen a shift since we have started to phase out toxins from our home. And we're not a completely toxin-free home. Um, You know, there's certain products that I know perhaps aren't, you know, the cleanest, most natural products, and we have we still use those. But on the whole, we've done a pretty good job over the past year of really removing as many toxic products as possible. Um, A big one for us actually was the cleaning products that we were using um, and making sure that we are using really sort of natural, clean, cleaning products. Obviously, if you are, you know, especially with COVID and everyone being obsessed with germs and hygiene and cleanliness, you know, we are constantly like making sure like worktops and things are wiped down. And, um, you know, if you are spraying into the air, all of these heavy toxins, think about what you are then breathing in. And 
what is entering into your body affects your vibration, it affects your energy. So, you know, not just toxins, but things like food as well. So we buy our food as much as possible. We buy all organic um, and we try and eat really clean. Uh, In fact, I'm going to save that for this for another point, actually, the food, because it's worth a mention on its own. But coming back to the cleaning products, again, like we very much been committed to buying, you know, eco green, toxin, toxin free, um, uh, can't get my words out, toxin free cleaning products. Um, So Kinfil is actually one of the brands that I have loved um it's beautiful in terms of its branding and its packaging and it comes in glass bottles and it's all essential oils and it smells beautiful and yeah they're just really really lovely products um and then using things like how we wash our clothes so the cleaning products we use to wash our clothes we use either method or a brand called ecova and again it's just about eradicating low vibe frequencies from your life you know tox toxin products are low vibe everything on this planet is made up of energy remember so everything has its own vibrational frequency and the more synthetic man-made toxic products are always going to be vibrating at a lower frequency so if you're bringing those into your living space it's going to impact your own vibration as well so it's a little bit of a strange one, and um, but I thought it would be worth a mention because, as I said, I've definitely noticed a difference in how I felt since I've lived a more toxin-free existence. Now, I was just chatting a little bit about food, but I thought perhaps this should be a point on its own. What you're putting into your body is dramatically going to affect your vibration, Food has its own vibrational frequency, just as everything on this planet does. And so if you are filling your body with low vibe foods, and we know what these are, these are ones that are like, you know, refined sugars, cakes, sweets, um, you know, typically your processed unhealthy food, beige food. (laughs) If you are filling your body with that kind of stuff, it's obviously going to affect your your vibration. And you know this because you know how you feel. If you've had a day where you've just ate a load of rubbish, you typically don't feel your most high vibe energetic self after that. Whereas if you've had a day and you've nourished your body with lots of green, healthy, you know, plant-based foods, a lot of vegetables, you've had a lot of fruit, water, you know, things that are just naturally born from the earth (laughs) and haven't been tampered by, you know, humans too much. You know, if you're filling your body with that kind of stuff, again, you're just going to feel in such more, much more of a high vibe space. Now, one other thing that I just also want to mention is the people that you are interacting with, okay? So vibration is contagious. Your energy is contagious and so is the energy of others. And who you surround yourself with is gonna have a direct impact on your own vibrational frequency. And again, you've probably experienced this. Let's say you've hung out for a day with a group of people who just want to complain about everything. They're very negative. They are just talking about negative things. They're moaning about things. How do you typically feel after you've spent time with those people? Now, it's often that you don't necessarily feel super high vibe or, you know, you don't necessarily feel positive and empowered because their energy has had a direct um, effect on your own energy. And so it's about being mindful. Who do I spend my most time with? And do they lift me up or do they drag me down? And this isn't to say you can't be there for people when they need your help and support, but you don't want to get caught up in things like bitchiness or gossip or just moaning about things and kind of staying in that victim mode without looking at problems and thinking of them in terms of solutions. You know, because often people will do this, they will love to kind of dwell on their problems and negative things that are going on in their life, but will never look at the solutions and the positive side of it or the lessons that they can take away from those those problems. So 
It's not to say that you have to cut out people from your life, but you might want to be a little bit more mindful of who do you spend your most time with. And, you know, if the conversation does tend to be negative, how can you control that conversation to bring a more empowering narrative to the conversation? So maybe it's, you know, you're trying to change the conversation. So it's talking about something that's much more positive and it's much more uplifting. Um, Or it might be that, again, you just spend less time with the people who don't make you feel great. (laughs) Um, And a part of this is is also making space for the people who do make you feel good, the people who do raise your vibration. So within the Click Academy, for example, a huge part of that experience for our students is that they are in this really high vibe space where everyone is really supportive of each other. So, you know, they're in this community where other women around them are also looking to raise their vibration and they are working on their mindset and they're increasing their positivity and having that network around you, especially as a new business owner, is incredibly important. So yeah, so it might be a case of spending less time with the people who drag you down, more time with the people that lift you up. And just, you know, when you are having conversations or spending time with people asking, you know, is this conversation serving me? How is this conversation making me feel? And can I change the narrative here to make it a little bit more empowering? Now, I feel like this is one of those episodes where I could probably go on for hours and hours and hours and really go into a lot of depth of all of the things that I've done and do, still do to keep my vibration high, but I won't. I'm going to cut it off there. Um, I perhaps will create another video around this though and go into um, detail on some of the other things things that I do. Sorry, distracted there by a phone ringing. Um, But yeah, hopefully this is giving you some ideas of things you can integrate into your lives for now. Um, If you haven't done so yet, I would absolutely love it if you left me a review for this podcast. It really would mean the world to me. So if you leave me a review on iTunes, I would be eternally grateful. Um, And I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I will, yeah, I will catch you on the next one. Bye, ladies. If you are wanting to build your own successful online coaching business, make sure to check out Freedom, Abundance and Impact, our free 10-day business and mindset course for coaches and aspiring coaches. To access, simply head to wearetheclick.com and click free course in the menu.